With the release of Sony's new F5, the 4K version of the F3, we've decided to compare it to Canon's C500, the 4K version of the C300. Both cameras boast 4K chips, however, with internal recording, neither can shoot 4K, only 1080 HD. The C500 to its own compact flash cards can only shoot the same quality HD as the C300. The F5, on the other hand, will allow you to shoot HD at higher megabits per second, and with a free future upgrade, will be able to shoot the equivalent of SRHD CAN quality with uncompressed sampling. To get the most out of both of these cameras, you'll need to record externally. Both can record 4K images and both can deliver raw information. The Sony RAW files have 16 bits of color information, whereas the C500 can only provide 10 bits. However, with the F5, the raw recording is slightly more compressed than the raw would be from the C500. The C500 sensor has a base sensitivity the same as the C300. The F5 has an incredibly high sensitivity of ISO 2000. Both cameras perform well in low light conditions, but the F5 far surpasses all cameras in its class. While both cameras are able to shoot at higher frame rates, the F5 can shoot higher quality slow motion than the C500. To its own cards, the C500 is still restricted to 50 frames at 720, whereas the F5 can shoot 60 frames at full 1080 HD, and according to Sony, will eventually be able to achieve 120 frames per second at 1080 HD. Both cameras can shoot 4K RAW at 50 frames per second and 2K at 100. Both the F5 and the C500 offer their own versions of a low contrast gamma curve to record high latitude images. The C500 uses the popular Canon log from the C300 giving a latitude of 12 stops and the F5 uses the new S log 2 gamma curve claiming 14 stops of latitude. The F5 can use the original S by S cards and Sony's new S by S Pro Plus cards. The new cards are much faster and will allow the F5 to record SSTP files, which is the equivalent of SRHD CAN quality. The C500 still records to compact flash cards, which are very popular because they are much cheaper. The F5 has stuck to the same basic box shape as the F3, but with the addition of a viewfinder. With this and the use of a shoulder mount, the F5 is much more natural as a shoulder mounted camera as the pad can sit underneath. The C500 has also kept to the modular design of its predecessor, making it very tall and more awkward in a handheld setup. In general, both are great low budget options for 4K RAW recording. The C500 has more options for external recording and as it records the compact flash cards internally, makes the media much cheaper. The F5 is slightly better in low light conditions and has a more practical design for handheld, especially with the inclusion of a viewfinder. But with future upgrades, the F5's real strength lies in the ability to shoot very high quality HD at higher frame rates to its own S by S cards. For more information, please contact Shift4.